We in there. Celica. I'm so scared. Arthur, please. <laughs> You'll be just fine with these. Celica enchanted them herself. They'll give you the courage you need to survive. They will? Sure they will. Now, have I ever lied to you? I'll come back for you once Celica is safe. It's scary, but don't give in to fear. Don't despair, no matter what. I won't. I promise. After all, I'm Laffy's older sister, and you're a student. On that day, the world began to change. Men and beasts possessed by evil spirits, hunting and killing anyone they could. But even in the depths of despair, only two things matter to me. The taste of blood-soaked flesh. And revenge upon one man. Luffy, time to wake up. Uh, okay. Morning. Best girl. I told you to stop calling me Luffy. I'm not a little kid anymore. <laughs> grumble, grumble, huh? You must be feeling good. Hmm. Bit of a fever, I'm afraid. At least the new medicine's supposed to come today. Until then, you stay in bed, got it? What? 
Aw, but I wanted to go to the cape. Sorry, you'll have to wait. Can I at least read a book? Don't trouble your sister, Lafayette. I didn't mean to. Arthur, done chopping firewood? Yeah, enough to last through winter. But there's something else I need to take care of. Sorry, but medicine money will have to wait a bit. I can earn it myself then. Bring down a few prickle bores, and I'll have plenty to offer in trade. On your own? Arthur's first maxim. Plans must be solid and reactions flexible. All right. I shouldn't doubt my students' abilities. Sorry to put you in the spot. I'm sorry, Velvet. Whoa, hey! What's everyone apologizing for? We're a family, right? Right. I'll see you later. I whipped up some porridge for you, okay? Be back by evening. Thank you. Be careful, Velvet. Move character. Change camera distance. Start the skit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got this. Hey, what's this? A ball of vegetable lounging. A tarnished silver coin. But what is this? Oh, okay. It's just a prompt to climb up the ladder. And that takes me outside, but there's a marker over here. What's up, Joe? Rest up. All right? Don't forget to take some gels with you. You know, you're careless sometimes. I'll be fine. You just make sure. Don't worry about me. I'll be in bed resting. You better be. Keep warm. Sheesh. Okay, now I've said everything I needed to. Total play time. I didn't do this. This is not. This was not what I wanted. Set off on our adventure! The minimap. Showing your current surroundings is displayed in the upper left corner of my screen. You can look, I can use it to check the locations of my next objective, shops, and more. Press square to display the area map. Unlike the minimap, which only displays your current surroundings, the area map shows the entire region that I am currently in. Current objective and event list. Press R1 to display the current main story objective on the upper right. Additionally, the event list on the area map displays objectives and progress in both the main and story quests. If I'm on the hunt for prickle bores, I'd better try the tranquil woods outside of town. This is for Luffy's medicine, so I can't mess this up. Of course, I gotta do some Doherty exploring before I get out there. Beside a grave marker for Arthur and Cecilia's unborn child stands the range stones of Velvet's parents and her sister, uh, Celica. So, oh, Celica's unborn child. That almost makes me want to murder pickle bores even more. Pickle, uh, pickle bores, yeah, that's it. We got hella markers. Come to think of it, Arthur hasn't requested his favorite dinner in a while. There's been so much going on, and the village always has him out hunting. Maybe he's just worn out? That does it! I'll cook him up some prickle boar stew, just like Salika taught me. That ought to pick him right up. A healthy portion of nourishing meat cures fevers and weariness alike.
Hey, Brandon, what's up? Ever since the opening seven years ago, this world's really gone crazy. Famine, freezing weather, and worst of all, this demon blight that's turning people into monsters. I can't believe that people can really turn into those things. It's a nightmare. Does no one know what causes demon blight? Or how to heal it? No. What we do know is that when people turn into those monsters, I mean, demons, they gain incredible strength and attack humans on sight. <sighs> Whoever named it the opening named it right. It's like someone opened a portal directly to hell. Come to think of it, Selica died during the opening, didn't she? It might be a good thing she died when she did. She didn't have to suffer through all of this. It's good that my sister died? How can you say that? Uh, sorry. I didn't mean it that way. You're a real idiot, you know that? Sorry about him, Velvet. Yeah, that was kind of fucked up of him to say. Hey, Velvet. Is Lafisette feeling better? No, not yet. He needs a little more rest. I think. Aw, too bad. Tell him I'm looking forward to hunting beetles with him again when he's better. Right, got it. Lafisette's illness sure is persistent. Yeah, that fever still keeps coming back. Like clockwork. The medicine always helps a little bit. But still, that sounds terrible. Let me know if there's anything I can do to help. Thanks, but we'll be fine. At least we've got Arthur to take care of anything that needs muscle. And before he came, Selica raised me and Luffy all by herself. So now I have to do my best too. You sound just like your sister. That optimism must run in the family. I do? That's nice of you to say. I should probably stock up on a few things before I go into the forest. Yeah. I don't have a lot of money to spare, but like Arthur always says, battles are won and lost with the preparations made before the first strike. There's nothing there. Oh shit, a chest. Oh baby. Copper chest has consumables. Silver chest standard equipment. Gold chest exceptional equipment. Then there's the shop right here. Oh, oh shit, I only have 200 gold. Can't do anything about that right now. Your girl is dead broke. That's fine. We can we can a hey, work with this. Shit, they started me off at level three. And her sister is just dead, yeah. We saw that the hard way. The demon blight is a punishment. 
sent to us by the Empyreans for forgetting the old prayers. Who are the Empyreans? The four Empyreans created the world. The one Empyrean shall bring it to peace. Be afraid. When contradiction permeates this world, the time of suppression will be upon us. Are you okay? Want me to take you home? No! Don't treat me like a child! All right then. Oh, it's you, Velvet. If you're going to the Cape, take care. Don't fall into the Shrine of Tranquility, right? I know. I'm not a kid. Of course, of course. You're 13 now, aren't you? Abort I'm mission. 16. <laughs> Abort mission. Abort the fuck out of that shit. You have nothing to offer me. To come back to the chat. Sees waifu and old waifu. Walks out of the chat. Yeah. He's like, 13? Like, yeah, nigga, we out. We out, we out, we out. What the fuck? Oh, okay. Yo, give me that. This area looks promising. This is. This game looks really well made. Since smoke bomb, we got a shadow clone jutsu our way out of there. There! Pricklebore! Hold up, there's an item on the ground. Where, where the hell is it? Oh, there it is. I think I see it. I'm about to oh my wall motion there do that ass! Okay, so I press square. Alright. Probably overpowering me a bit, okay. Let me turn that down some. Right, here goes. Ah, oh, oh, whoa, hey, whoa. They're just kind of just like, alright, there you go. Voice actor. Nah, doesn't sound appetizing. What about Picklebore? Yeah, Picklebore. That's a cute name. Maybe too cute, though. We wouldn't want to discourage people from eating them. I know this voice actor. She is very familiar, but I just cannot get my name. I can't get my tongue on it. Just nothing but question marks there, just like, I don't know what it is. Yo, well, come on then. I wonder if there's a way I can get a preemptive strike. Hold up. Let me get this. Alright. I'm about to get in that ass. Yeah, that's right. Did you see him finesse me? I know you saw him finesse me, I hated that. And the 
transition combo into your. They're not. Okay, there we go. Haha! Haha! -ha. 16, no, lady said 13. That? That changes everything, Sano. At least by Japan standards, we're in there. How many am I supposed to? Okay, I guess I'm supposed to just keep going. Oh, what the hell is this? Oh, you can save your progress. Kaboom. Do you want to save? Hell yeah, I want to save. If I can sneak up on him. Oh shit. Oh shit, he sees me. to the store but hold up what the fuck is this and why do I have a feeling I need to whoa that is dark this place isn't safe that hole's gotten bigger I've told them a thousand times they ought to build a fence but they keep saying it's forbidden land even Selica used to scare me with it. She was always, this is a gateway to the underworld. Well, I'm too old to keep falling for that nonsense. So what are you going to do? Hop down there one day? Just like, the power, the power of the unknown envelops me. Then she just jumps down there and gets bodied. Place is darker than my ex, yes. It's darker than me. And that's saying something. For the sake of expl- oh, there's a boulder here. Okay. Oh shit, another pickle board. Come get this fucking work. Gotta be able to make fun of yourself, Jazz. That's how the game works. Ooh, another pickle board. Yeah, let's go. Not bad. I am essentially just button bashing because all my moves, all my arts are the same. So until I get my art game up, it's pretty much gonna be the same, it's gonna be the same process. Is that all? Like even Velvet doesn't feel a challenge from this right now. But we have an entire game to go through, boys. Oh! Wait, 
the boars I hunted. Are you there? Wait, y'all mad? Well, come on then. Maxim three, never waver once your sword is drawn. Control your feelings to control the tide of battle. Yeah, like you think Velvet gives? You think Velvet gives a fuck? She doesn't, dog. Hidden arcs focus on damage and attack range, but use more VSG than normal arcs. Searing Edge is effective against beasts. Gain the advantage by exploiting the enemy's weak spots. Oh, it's it. Okay. Did she just become a Green Lantern? Maybe. Oh, okay. I have to get my souls back. Yes, son. Killed one of you. Ow. Ow. Yeah, son. For the enemy, thrill of victory. Your emotions run too hot. That will be your downfall. Oh. Agreed. And it's one of her virtues as well. Huh? Yes, I know. But even so, she's got to. Arthur? Arthur's fourth maxim. Never let your guard down, even when victorious. Got it. In any case, this should be enough to buy Lafayette's medicine. I'll drop the prickle boars off at the shop before I head out. Head out where? The person I was supposed to meet is late. I don't think I'll be home tonight. I came out here to let you know. You'll have to pick up the medicine yourself. Right. One more thing. I saw a group of demons near the village. If you're attacked, run away. Am I clear? No way! I, I can handle a bunch of- Demons can only be challenged by those with the talent for exorcism. That's the cold logic of the world. And no emotions can change it. Do you think- I could become an exorcist? Why is it you think that birds fly? Why? Well, without flying, they couldn't find food. It takes a particular innate talent to be an exorcist. Unfortunately, very few humans have it within themselves. All right. Tomorrow is Selica's Memorial Day. I'll be back as soon as I can. Hurry back! I'll make you a quiche, just the way she taught me. Uh, I will say, they've totally, they totally upped the animation. Like, I remember playing Tales of Exilia, uh, back when, I think even Tales of Zestiria had it too. Oh wait, hold on. I wonder if those prickle boars were brothers. Maybe I should have let them go. But then, how would I pay for Lafayette's medicine? Hunting took care of that. And it means food for us as well. I had no other choice. It was a rational decision. 
but the fact that I'm still worrying about it shows that my feelings are getting the better of me. Yeah, like I was saying, like even in the older Tales games, like their animations would have a gap in between them. While I still like, while I still love Tales of Exilia one and two, that was like an unfortunate downside to the game. I don't see why any of this is a bad oh, yeah? thing. You want to do something about your style then? Uh, yeah. I kind of broke my comb. So get a new one. Sure, I'd like to, but... Hey, mister! How about a sail on combs for the pretty girl? <laughs> huh? Oh, you two need something? I'm fine, Nico. I'm just here to pick up medicine for Lafayette. Oh, Velvet. I already told Arthur, but I'm afraid the medicine hasn't come in yet. What? Why not? Is it because of the demons? Seems like the demon blight's really taking a toll on the city. There's even a group of them lurking around here now. When's it coming, then? I can't say. And I don't know how much it will cost. Oh, no. Ugh. What is wrong with Midgand? Like, don't they have an army or something? Those guys? The demons already routed them a while back. But we're safe here, right? After all, your brother-in-law's an exorcist. You so sure about that? Arthur can't even use his right hand anymore. The poor fellow couldn't even protect his own wife and child. Let me know when the medicine gets in. Uh, uh of course. For now. Here, on the house. Velvet! You didn't forget, did you? You promised to teach me how to make your special quiche. You mean for that apprentice animal doctor you had your eye on? You were serious? Beyond serious! Please. This is life or death for me. But I thought your folks weren't keen on the two of you dating. Who cares what people think? The important thing is my feelings. <laughs> I like the way you talk. If I were a boy, I think I'd be in love. Darn right. I don't see what's stopping them, though. It's 2017. I'm starving by now. I better hurry home. Yeah, it's 2017. What, you think girl love is like unaccepted or some shit? Celica taught you how to make your special quiches. Yeah, but mine aren't nearly as good as hers. Don't be modest. They're fantastic. Simple, yet elegant. That's because there's a secret in the cheese and the dough. You should try selling them in Taliesin. I'm sure they'd be a hit. We could make them together and take them on the road. <gasps> we could even wear matching uniforms. Would it make more money than hunting fricklebores? Definitely, maybe. Even more so if you could lighten up a bit in front of the customers. Then it might be worth a try. I do want to buy Lafayette a nice heavy winter coat. And Arthur's gloves are in tatters, so he needs new ones. Oh, don't be so boring. I get where you're coming from, but come on. Think big. Dream, Velvet. Dream. Think big? Hmm. No thanks. I want a peaceful life with Lafayette and Arthur. That's all. You're impossible. Then again... Maybe that's why your quiches taste so darn good. <laughs> Orthy and Russ seem pretty down today. I know. They've been whimpering like this for an hour now. Well, they've always been a bit wimpy. The other day, that kitty Rolo chased both of them up a tree by himself. They're hopeless. Whenever it's thundering out, they both dive into my bed, shivering. Orthy, Russ, shape up. You're Nico's bodyguards, right? Start acting like it. <coughs> They're completely hopeless. Maybe. 
but they're so cute. So I forgive them. So is it the so they said Rolo was chasing shit up a tree. So is that saying best cat NA is back in this game? Because if so, I gotta go see fucking Rolo. Rolo is the best lazy cat in of all time in all of gaming history. I must go gather the. I That's where my house is. I don't want to go there yet. I saw something I can gather over here. You say anything is possible in a Tales game? Hell yeah. I'm just I'm just saying though. Like if Rolo is in this game, yo, I gotta go see fucking Rolo. Like, but the world is being destroyed. I don't give a fuck. I want to go see Best Kitty, dog. We lost you. And the baby you carried. Oh, drat. You forgot to bring your princessias. I know how much you, Mom, and Dad all loved those flowers. And I know your child would have too. I'm sorry. We'll pick some from the cake tomorrow. game is really cool though oh she's gonna be pissed to see him out of his bed uh, welcome home velvet fluffy I told you to stay in bed I was only up for a little look your fever hasn't gone down a bit go lie down and I'll cook dinner I'm sorry What's this? A compass. It uses a magnet to tell you which way you're facing. Woohoo. You can use the sun and stars for that. And what'll you do if it's cloudy, huh? Thanks to this invention, we'll even be able to voyage across the ocean. See? It's designed to stay level, so your heading will be true even when the ship is rolling with the waves. Pretty neat, right? If you say so, Lofi. <laughs> Come on, it's a must-have for any adventure. Can't you see how useful it is? This kid is on some next level shit. You can tell me more about it later. But because he's young, they just blow it off, right? Did they hurt you? Not a scratch. And I brought back plenty. I can hear Arthur already. Gosh, Velvet. I think it's time you learned all my secret arts. He isn't coming home tonight, is he? How do you know that? Sarah stopped by and told me. Arthur's Moloch? Huh, you really can talk to Malachim, can't you? Yeah, Arthur says I've got exorcist potential. No kidding. I think you'll be an exorcist to rival even him. I can tell you've been learning all sorts of things from his book collection. I really want to become an exorcist. I want to go traveling with you and see all the wonders of the world. I'll hunt and chop firewood, and if demons come for us, I'll defend you. I wish... I wish I could do that. You'll get there, Lofi said. It should only take... Oh, Lord. I didn't know my phone was right here. Oh, 20 years tops. It won't take me that long. Oh yeah? You better prove it to me then. Start with this lovely meatball stew I cooked. Eat every last mouthful, even if you don't feel hungry. And take your medicine, no matter how nasty it tastes. No tricks. Am I clear? Yes, ma'am. Seriously, like... Right. Cooking time. First, I need to light the stove. 
mechanically this is like one of the best Tales games ever. Like I think I think just off just off the pure fact of how they handled this game in comparison to the other ones, like they made vast improvements to this game. Like I remember back in the old ones whenever there was an objective marker, like yo, all it did was just go to black. They give you a cinematic cutscene in this Day one. Before Scarlet Knight. Sis went prickle boar hunting on her own. She's almost as good a fighter as Arthur. So I know those prickle boars don't stand a chance. But I worry that she's too athletic to land a husband. Wow. Maybe she should try to be more lady. Wow. Poor little scamp. He just knew I'd be reading this, didn't he? And just like Tails, never skips out on savagery. Never. Holy shit. Like, the, the little shit said that. I'm afraid she's too athletic to find a husband. But yo, you don't say shit like that. What the hell am I supposed to be looking at over here? Not this, but I got some sugar too. There we go. Observations of the nameless Embryon. Isn't this Arthur's book? Is Loppy really reading stuff this dense? <laughs> Poor kid's gonna squint his eyes right out. No, that, like, that kid, I just know he's gonna be in the fucking party. It's so easy to light Arthur's firewood. I wonder what his trick is. Um, Velvet? Could you not put any spinach in the stew? Huh, you'll never grow up if you're picky with your food, you know. Mm, I know, but, but just for today? <laughs> fine, fine. I'll leave out the spinach, just this once. And I'll make it that curry flavor you like. Really? Thanks, Velvet. Th There's some of Arthur's special curry spice upstairs, isn't there? I'm telling you, like what I hope, what I hope in this game, that I have one hope so far, and that's just that that kid grows up to be swole as shit. There you go. Not spicy hot, but oh so delicious. Oh yeah. I saw Nico today, and she had very important things to talk about. She's coming over in the next couple days, so be on your best behavior. I will. I'm glad you've got a good friend. Yeah, we've known each other since forever. Still, Nico falling in love? I can barely wrap my head around it. Loppy, you know, if there's a girl you like, you'll tell Big Sister all about it, right? No. A g girl Hmm, you're a stubborn little brat, so you might need an older girl to keep you under control. What? Oh, and she's gotta be a good cook. A pro in the kitchen is a success at life. How does she know this? Knock it off, Velvet! You should be more worried about your own love life. Oh! Me? I I've got enough on my mind. For one thing, I've gotta cook for you and Arthur since Celica is gone. That's a, that's not... Besides, getting crushes on strange men, I just don't see what so... <laughs> Luffy, what's wrong? No, no, no. No, no, no. This isn't happening. Are you alright? I'll bring you some water. I'm fine. You just said something funny is all. And it made me choke a bit. <sighs> as long as you're okay. Sorry, I went off on a tangent there. <laughs> Who knows what the future holds? Yeah, but what more can I do? I've got a duty to look after my little brother, and I'm serious about it. I know, but I'm trying to look after you too. I want you to be happy, that's all. And it's not just me. Arthur worries about you too. Well, we're family, right? Yeah, that's what families do. Thanks, Laffy. For you? I'd kill every last prickle boar in the forest if it came down to it. <sighs> what am I doing? I need to hurry and get dinner ready. Woo! No, oh, this was this 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 wasn't it. Was it this it? Begin cooking. We in there. Cooking mini games? Are we in there? Are we going super meta? No, we're not going super meta. Okay. Alright, cool. I'm okay with this.
good boy. You didn't forget your medicine. Well, I did promise. Tomorrow's a scarlet night. Yeah, just like that night that changed our lives. Um, Velvet, may I sleep next to you tonight? No, he has a fever. He has a fever. What logical sense does this make? Why? But then they're both gonna wake up. Oh no, we both have a fever. Then a bunch of prickle boards come up and just like, hey nigga, heard you was talking shit. That resting thing gets better and better in every game. Today, I've got to dry some meat and use that cheese I've been saving to make a quiche for... Hmm? Luffy? Oh, no. Oh, no. You little... Where have you gone? I'm not liking this. You better not have gone to the village alone. Uh... I bet your fever hasn't even gone down. So help me God. What the hell is he doing? I guess he's not anywhere around here. Hey, has Luffy set been here? Uh, no, I haven't seen him. This kid's a wait. That's one of Arthur's. Yo, this actually, it's a copy that Luffy set made. A smart merchant would pay a pretty penny for this book. I gave him a fair trade. Luffy, did he really copy all that by hand? Oh, he must have done it to buy that compass. No, though he gave it some puppy eyes. Told him I'd throw it in for free, but he said that it would be a bad deal for me. He's a good lad. Not the merchant type. So, what did he use the money for? I'm afraid my lips are sealed. You'll have to ask him. Velvet, I saw Luffy set walking around. Is he okay? He's not okay. Where'd you see him? He was headed for the forest. I'll help you look for him. Thanks. Do a sweep of the village, just in case. I'll check the forest. This kid's gonna have a dope-ass awakening, but we got cutscenes. I was going to have them join the search, but they won't move at all. It's like they're scared of something. I know. He might have gone to the cave to pick flowers. Hold up. Hey, Velvet, did you hear the news? Tonight is going to be another Scarlet Night. I remember the moon turned red seven years ago. But what is it anyway? It's a red lunar eclipse. It happens every several years or so. Apparently, you can predict the next one by watching the movements of the stars. According to legend, a crimson moon is a gate that connects our world to the next. It's also said to be proof of humanity's sins. You sure know a lot about it. Luffy said taught me just a few minutes ago. You saw Luffy? Where'd he go? Actually, I don't know. Sorry. <laughs> Luffy is just going around just dropping all this dope-ass knowledge on everybody. So like, yeah, man, Luffy told me about it. What? You saw him? Where is he? Psh, I don't know.
Have you seen Luffy set? Nope. Can't say that I have. All right. Let me know the second you see him. Got it. Is he in bad shape? Well, he refuses to stay in bed. He needs his rest, but he's always walking around or reading outside. I can't say I'm surprised. He's always been a curious lad. He likes reading difficult books. When I saw him the other day, he told me all about the latest navigation techniques and exotic farming methods, too. Only one kid in a million is as smart as he is. You're exaggerating. Well, maybe not. It's a shame. If he could go to school in the capital, I'm sure he'd make a name for himself as a scholar. The capital? Isn't that days and days by ship from Taliesin? No way. Not happening. Even if he gets better, I could never let him go that far away all by himself. He can handle it. He's actually a very responsible boy. I don't think you need to worry. I couldn't handle it. I would worry. He'd be lonely. Oops. Mistakes were made, boys. Mistakes were made. Okay, they're not letting me go this way. So I may or may not have, or may have may may or may not have gone here unnecessarily. Oh well. Let me back in. No time to deal with you. Fluffy. Velvet. Can you walk? How's your fever? I'm fine. I was just taking a break. You little. You know better than this, Luffy said. Running off without telling me. What if something happened to you? You wouldn't be the only one hurt. Do you understand that? I'm sorry. If you want to do something, just ask. I know I'm a crummy big sister, and I can't afford to buy you all the things you want. No, that's not why I went out. You see, it was just... I get it. You're right. I forgot the flowers for the graves. Yeah, so I was going out to the Cape, and I thought... You want to see the ocean, too, don't you? Well, yeah, that too. Fine. Just for today, though. Are you sure? I am. But next time you run off like that, I'm strapping you to your bed. Yes, ma'am. Good. It's off to the Cape, then. Hooray! Remember how we went out together to pick princessias on the morning of Selica's funeral? Yeah. I was only four, but I remember. He couldn't find any in the village or at the Cape. Right. Because the demons had made a mess of them. And then you suddenly started climbing down the edge of the cliff. You ran over and grabbed me. You had the scariest look on your face. Of course I did. Do you have any idea what I'd do if I lost you too? You'd still have Arthur. He'd help you. He'll help the world. He's quite the guy. 
That's probably true. But I'd still miss you like you wouldn't believe. I know. I'm sorry, sis. But down the cliff from where you were, a lone pair of princessia were blooming. I remember. A gentle breeze came in, and it smelled like Celica. That's right. That's why I believe those flowers were a message from her. Do you know what princessia flowers signify? Uh, an irreplaceable treasure, and wishes for good health for many years to come. Right. And that sums up my feelings nicely, Luffy. Yeah. Me too, sis. What? How about I make you some apple boo when we get home, Luffy? Apple boo? What's that? Grated apples. Whenever I caught a cold when I was little, Celica would make it for me. It's sweet and tart and juicy and crisp. Eating it always made me feel better. Well, apples are good for you. But what does the boo mean? When I was a baby, I would always say boo-boo when I wanted to eat an apple. <laughs> so that's where the name comes from. Wait, you called apples boo-boo? You must have been a strange baby. You used to do the same thing. When Celica and I heard you, we laughed so hard. Ooh. What, you got a fucking problem, cuz? What, you got beef? All right, let's go then. I keep pressing square every time. Get away from me! I want nothing to do with you. Alright. Is that all? Oh. Right, Nearly goes. forgot about you. This place never changes, does it? It does too change. The seasons, the wind, the weather. Change one and the sea's totally different. And the same goes for what lies across the sea. Across the sea? Sometimes I just don't know what you're talking about. Hey Velvet, thank you for taking me out here today. You don't need to thank me. Oh, uh, what? Bird got beef? Hey, Luffy. Do you know why it is that birds fly? Well, if they didn't, they couldn't catch food. Or escape from predators. Thought so. But, you know, I think there's more to it than that. A bird that's born with wings has to. Uh. A demon! 
Hey Maniac, what's up? It's a demon. Oh. Zeros. Okay. All right. Can I escape? Can't escape. <laughs> wow. So far, Velvet and, his, and her little brother have been my favorite characters so far. She used to read Word Up magazine. No, it wasn't. So what is she? So what is she's gonna go go out get herself bodied again? She's like, okay, well now now the moon is red, so now I'm gonna go get ragdolled one more time. Hey, those are the townspeople. Fluffy, where are you? Oh! Battle tutorial. If it looks like you're going to lose, you can always try to run away. Haha, <laughs> so long, sectors. Ah! My leg! I'm out! Hold this L. So long, suckers! Yeah, this is my first playthrough, Maniac. I have no idea what's going on. I just like the little brother just because of how intelligent he is. Oh man, that dude got fucking wrecked! Oh, 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 holy shit. This is grim. I thought being last alive on the final round of Killing Floor 2 was like terrifying. This, this is terrifying. Okay, so how am I gonna magician my way through? I won't, woo! No, the 
<laughs> serpentine! Serpentine! Haha, <laughs> get finessed, losers! <laughs> I'm out. Still running. All right. Oh, you finna hit, get hit with these jukes? Oh, oh, oh damn it! <laughs> Shit. Hold up. Hold up. Let me escape, damn you! Yeah, you just keep on backflipping, homie. Yeah, man, you you got the skills that can pay the bills. Just don't fucking hit me. Ah! Oh, cut it out! Oh shit, the escape meter is going down. Oh, Alright. Oh, okay. I'm gonna just go in between you guys. Yep. Run up the middle. I'm gonna make this. I'm gonna dip, dip over to the left here real quick. If you juke into a punch, it's no longer a juke. Well, nobody asked you. All right, I'm the one with the skills here. All right, 2017 definitions change all the time. What I did was a juke. It just wasn't like the best juke. All right, so what the hell is going on here? Wow, that's terrifying. Here, once, is the seal to the underworld broken. And tonight, fear shall be born the power to save the world. With love is its life as a sacrifice. I don't like this. Oh, is that what I saw? Is this the thing that I saw? Yep, that was the thing I saw.
feeds on demons. Arthur. Etheria. Take a look around. <laughs> Demon blight has spread through the village. But do not fear. With my power as an exorcist, I, Artorius Colbrand, will end your pain. Is it that birds fly? Behold my answer, Velvet. Arthur. I ask no forgiveness. The sin is mine to bear. I don't know what's badass about killing a child. For from what it looks like in my eyes, no good reason. I will make you pay. So it's like, all right. So get, so let me get this straight, right? So the demons came and he sacrificed the child to get rid of the demons sacrificed the child the demons are still there made another demon that eats demons in velvet hmm hmm i don't know something about that just seems incorrect there it seems like it seems like someone got a super saiyan transformation and someone died for what seems like nothing. You like dominance? The shit is attractive. You're a masochist. No, 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 no. This has nothing to do. So did my world. It has nothing to do with that. And for three long years, I sat in that pit of darkness and fed. Devouring demons. So I could live. So I could live long enough to kill him and be my brother's vengeance. This makes me sad because I like the little kid. Because he was smart, he was intelligent. Like he thought in the future. Like I'm playing this in 2017. That kid's mind was in 5017. Like that kid was wise beyond his years, only to get killed for still what I see is no reason. Uh, yes, I sacrificed this child. 
I sacrificed this child so all the bad things would go away just for the bad things to get uh, tripled. Come on now. Like this. It will decide if you are worth teaching. Yeah, but maniac, what 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 this man did had nothing to do with being dominated or being a masochist or anything like that. Ow. Oh, that stuff. Whoa, hey. Get out. Oh. Am I not sidestepping this woman? There we go. Wave dashing Why can't you holding back. You noticed. Well done. You pass. Of course. His Moloch would never be so weak as that. I am his Moloch no longer. <sighs> First, let me tell you what has transpired these past three years. There are exorcists now throughout the land. Challenging the reign of demons with the help of... Tell me. Tell me where Artorius is. You may find him in the capital city of Logris in Midgand. You won't stop to listen. I can tell you what it was you saw that night. That night... The ritual he performed shifted the very course of the world. A host of Malachim descended, and with their strength, the emergent exorcists quelled the demon tide. Now, he serves as leader of the Exorcist's Abbey, an institution that enjoys the unconditional faith of the kingdom and public. A shield to guard the people, and a sword against demons, Artorius Colbrand, the world's savior. With power stolen by sacrificing Lafayette. Indeed. But his power is not yet absolute. The man can still be killed. Why are you doing this? Make a successful escape from this place and I'll explain. So that's your game. Fine. I don't care what the world thinks of me. What matters is my vengeance against Artorius. That's all. I have shattered your yoke. We must hurry. Jazz. So, I got some good news, bro. They said three years have passed. 
That means she's 19 now, bro. Bro, we in there. We, I, mission success. Do, need I say more? Do I need to say more? All right. 